all mercury silver fillings leak substantial amounts of mercury constantly. The amount increases with any kind of stimulation, and as a result, mercury from fillings produces the majority of human exposure to mercury. What you are seeing is mercury vapor coming off a 25-year-old silver amalgam filling in an extracted tooth. The background is a phosphorescent screen. The mercury vapor absorbs the fluorescent light, and you can see it as a shadow on the screen. This is mercury coming off a filling that was dipped in water that's the same temperature as the human body. This is a filling that was rubbed with a pencil eraser for just a few seconds. These are not small amounts of mercury. If you can see it, it's more than 1,000 times higher than the Environmental Protection Agency will allow for the air that we breathe. What about the last time you went to the dentist and they drilled on your tooth? Here is the mercury vapor every time you raise the temperature to 110 degrees with hot coffee or warm water, or even chewed on it. Mercury comes off fillings every time you stimulate them, and that stimulation causes the mercury to continue to leak out of the fillings for an hour and a half, at a minimum. Some people grind their teeth. Some people chew gum. Back in 1985, the International Academy of Oral Medicine Toxicology set out to determine the amount of mercury that was coming off fillings. And here's the graph, showing substantial quantities of mercury were measured coming off fillings. And then we estimated the total dose. And then we began animal experiments and put radioactive fillings in sheep. Mercury accumulated in the jaw, stomach, liver, and kidney of the sheep in just 30 days. Substantial quantities of mercury spread from the fillings to every organ in that sheep's body. This should be of concern one for everyone. Then we measured that the sheep's kidneys dropped in their ability by 60% to clear inulin, an indication of kidney malfunction. Whole body imaging of monkeys found exactly the same thing. Proponents of amalgam fillings claim that sheep chew too much. Well, what's the problem with monkeys? They had mercury in their jaw, kidneys, liver, intestine, and heart. And further research found dystrophic bacteria that were antibiotic resistant cropped up in the intestines within two weeks of receiving these mercury leaking fillings. In 1991, the World Health Organization acknowledged that the predominant source of human exposure to mercury is from your fillings. That should be of concern to anyone wanting to have healthy children, because mercury is highly damaging to fetuses. Experiments in sheep showed that mercury from the sheep's fillings transferred immediately to the placenta, to the unborn fetus, and to every conceivable portion of the fetus's body. It even increased in the lamb higher after birth from mercury in the mother's milk. There's no such thing as a safe mercury filling. All mercury fillings leak mercury. The combined effect of mercury, cadmium, and lead is just now being investigated, but it's not one in one. It's synergistic, and one in one may make 100 or even 1,000. Why is that of concern? Over and over again, we've heard that children are exposed to lead from our environment. Mercury and lead is many times more toxic than just mercury alone. 